Being a big fan of Avril Lavigne back in the day, I'm happy to see that pop rocker is making a comeback. While she hails from a small town here in Canada, these days she lives in a gorgeous Malibu mansion she just bought for $7.8 million. The very private estate was recently rebuilt in a contemporary style and boasts an open floor plan. Avril isn't a stranger to LA real estate either, having formerly owned a French style mansion in Sherman Oaks and before that, a Bel Air estate that she sold to NBA star Chris Paul. Today we'll check out where Avril currently calls home and a couple of her former properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Avril Lavigne came from the small town of Napanee, Ontario, which had a population of only 5,000 at the time she grew up there, but she was destined to be a star as long as her family can remember. Avril is a singer, songwriter, and more who appeared on stage with Shania Twain at the young age of 15 and had already signed a two album recording contract by 16 worth over $2 million. That's one rich high schooler. All of that was well deserved because Avril quickly became a star and her debut album Let Go from 2002 is the best selling album of the 21st century by a Canadian artist. It is one great album and was full of hits. Avril also established her pop punk queen image after this album and she's considered an important part of the development of pop punk movement in the early 2000s. Her second album, Under My Skin, another banger, topped the charts and went on to sell 10 million copies worldwide. Avril's albums that followed also saw amazing success, and these days she's amassed herself an estimated net worth of $60 million. Clearly, Avril's come a long way from her small town beginnings in Napanee and has now afforded herself multi million dollar estates in places like Bel Air and Malibu. While all of the homes she's owned in Los Angeles over the years are beautiful, by looking at her latest Oceanside abode, it appears the property properties only get more and more impressive. Good for Avril. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video every day. Today we're going to be looking at the homes of pop punk queen Avril Lavigne, including her current home in Malibu she purchased at the end of last year and a couple of her other properties. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Way back in 2011, it was reported that Avril and her first ex-husband, Sum 41 frontman Derek Wibley, were selling their mansion in Bel Air post-divorce. While they listed it at $9.5 million, they ended up selling it to NBA star Chris Paul in early 2012 for just over $8.4 million. Avril purchased the home in 2007 from a fellow rocker, Travis Barker, and his ex-wife Shanna, who actually filmed their reality TV show Meet the Barkers at the Residence. So if it looks familiar, that might be why. Avril's former mansion located in the lavish Southern California neighborhood of Bel Air, measured in at 12,184 square feet with eight beds and 10.5 baths. It was built in a Mediterranean style and was fronted with wrought iron and glass double doors decorated with columns, which led into a double height entryway with skylights and herringbone walnut floors. Moving on from there, next there was a grand 925 square foot formal living room with Tuscan style columns and folding glass doors that connected to a cozier outdoor living area with fireplace. The formal dining room had room for a dozen guests and next to it, there was a butler's pantry leading to the kitchen which was arranged around two large center islands. One had a vegetable sink while the other boasted a six stool snack bar for casual meals. There was also a combination family room and more informal dining area with glass doors out to the yard and pool. Other features on the main floor of Avril's former home included a library office, a 12 seat movie theater, a den or children's playroom and more. Upstairs, a level you could also reach by elevator if you choose to skip the stairs, there was a sprawling master suite and three more guest rooms with en suites, as well as an additional room turned into a shoe closet. The master had a sitting room and bedroom that spanned about 40 feet long and boasted a glamorous mirror, fireplace, built-in media wall, and even a wet bar. Not to mention there was a private balcony overlooking the canyon. There was even a basement level in this home with an underground parking garage, a wine cellar with tasting area, and a home gym. If that's not enough, this level also featured another 35 foot long entertainment space with walk-in wet bar, media bar with three TVs, and even a hair and 
and makeup area. Moving outside, the yard had more impressive features like the usual terrace, swimming pool and spa, and a barbecue station. The yard also had access to gorgeous views overlooking the canyons and skies. In 2015, when Avril was still with ex-husband and Nickelback frontman Chad Kroger, they bought a traditional French chateau-inspired mansion in Sherman Oaks for $5.9 million. Unfortunately, when the couple decided to call it quits, they eventually hoisted this home back on the market, this time for $7.9 million in 2019. The gorgeous mansion was located in an upscale neighborhood of Sherman Oaks, surrounded by trees and greenery, and secured behind high walls covered in vines and iron gates. This estate, which spanned 10,200 square feet of space, had every possible amenity. There were six beds and 7.5 baths and double doors open to a grand entryway, leading to the extravagant double height living room with twin curved staircases. This space also had a wall of floor to ceiling windows, a stone fireplace and a bar which linked this room to the dining room. The formal dining room also had a fireplace to keep things cozy and elsewhere there was a chef's kitchen with more than one fridge, high end appliances, three dishes dishwashers and two islands. The kitchen was combined with a casual eating area and family room and the massive space was over 20 feet wide and 36 feet long with a coffered ceiling. There was also a TV lounge with a built in media cabinet and other features on this level of the home included a breezeway that connected the house to the three car garage and a paneled office. Not to mention the mansion boasted a mirror wall gym or yoga studio that had a secret staircase to the second floor master retreat. Avril's former master suite had its own wing on the upper level of the mansion and was grandly sized to say the least. There was an elegant fireplace here, French doors out to balconies, and a 20 foot long walk-in closet. The ensuite back even had its own morning bar. Avril's former Sherman Oaks mansion also had a top of the line home theater above the garage with separate lounge, boasting a snack bar with ice maker and drink cooler. While not too many renovations were made while Avril and Chad lived here, they did spend a bit of money to convert a third floor attic space into a large entertainment complex with vaulted ceilings, sky Highlights, stone fireplace, a large wet bar, and a 400 square foot bonus room. Rounding out this amazing property was the landscaped backyard, which was fully private and peaceful. The grounds offered amenities like a fire pit, an outdoor kitchen and bar area, a saltwater swimming pool, a spa, a sports court, and more. I told you, this mansion had every amenity imaginable. More recently, Avril was drawn to the sea, and at the end of 2020, she purchased her current home, a $7.8 million abode in Malibu, perched on a bluff overlooking the water. Her contemporary estate sits on a 0.63 acre lot and while it's more modest in size than the last mansion, spanning 3,455 square feet, it makes up for it with attention grabbing views and aesthetics. Avril's new home is located in a celebrity loved area of Malibu just down the street from Lady Gaga's compound and while it was built in 1968, it was completely redone recently for a modern feel. The single story home boasts an open floor plan, clean lines, and an impressive exposed wood beam ceiling over the main living areas. There are 4 beds and 3.5 bathrooms throughout and the home is hidden from the street and secured behind a long gated driveway for privacy. Avril's uncomplicated house has a great room with custom woodwork, including an entire wall of built-in shelves and a fireplace on one end, as well as honey-colored hardwood floors and glass doors opening out to the amazing views. In a far corner of the living space, there's a cozy office with bookshelves and a desk. Avril's chic kitchen has top-grade appliances, and elsewhere there are features like a temperature-controlled wine closet and one guest bedroom that's been transformed into a gym. The singer's private suite is secluded in its own wing of the home through a giant barn-style Door, and her bedroom has more views of the ocean, a vaulted ceiling, spa style bath, and custom walk in closet with space for a giant celebrity style wardrobe. Other features of Avril's Malibu retreat include an outdoor dry sauna and a detached two car garage with additional guest suite, which could be used for visitors or staff. Outside, the entire property is surrounded by tall hedges, and the front of the home has a ton of trees and shade. The backyard boasts a spacious patio with fire pit and barbecue, while there's a lower wooden deck and a simple pool below. The pool comes complete with a spa and Baja shelf for sun tanning, while the grassy lawn leads you down to the beach, which is by far one of the best features of the Malibu property. So now we've taken a look at where pop rocker Avril Lavigne calls home, so I think I'll wrap up this video here. We checked out her house in Bel Air from way back in the day, her former giant Sherman Oaks mansion from when she was still married, and her current Malibu retreat. After checking out Avril's real estate, which house was your favorite? I would say it's hard to choose, but it's definitely 
definitely a toss up between the Sherman Oaks mega mansion and her new Malibu home. The bigger mansion comes with all those crazy exciting amenities and looks like a palace, but the property on her current home and ocean views are to die for. Be sure to let me know what you liked or didn't like about Avril's homes down in the comments. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel where I could get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video. What you gonna do? And I'm gonna give you my review, what I liked about it, what I didn't like, what freaking disturbed me. Killing a baby, and it definitely made me sad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!